the quickest way to send out an email in Go High Level. Here we are logged in. You're going to be looking at something like this often when you first log in. To get to the emails, go to Marketing. A different window like this will open up. Under Marketing, you go to Emails and then Templates. This is where you will find all of the templates that you've already got inside of your software. Now, before I show you where all of them are and how to change all of them, uh, I'll also show you how to create a new one. You click here to create a brand new one, or you look at one of the other ones that you've already got inside of your profile, and you can click on Duplicate, and you can click this right here, and it will actually clone the email, and then you can change it to whatever you want to change it to. So. What I recommend that you do, in fact, right now it's January, let's say you're going to even want to do the February, because you see the January here, but you don't see February. All of the emails that we've got in your system are put in by the beginning of the month. More are being added, by the way, but you just put in the beginning of the month, first three letters, and then you'll be able to search for all of them, right? So you just pop up the email, either click here or click the edit over there to the right. You'll be able to see what goes on. Now, you'll want to do a test because this is where your logo should be, and there's a different video on that on custom values. But if you've already set your custom values, that should be set. You should also have your phone number actually should be showing up there. It should also be showing up here. Now, if you want to, you can actually go in and manually change this here. But why do that when you can set it in the custom values and it'll show up in every single email? That's the best way to do it. Again, look at the video that we have for custom values on that. So you want to look over the email, change whatever you think you should change, click on this, then go over here and just change whatever you want to change it to. Pretty self-explanatory there. Now, to be able to do a test email, because you want to test it to yourself first, Click here and click test email, send it to yourself and check it. After all of that's done, after that you've got everything set in here and you're all good to go, you want to go ahead and send the email. So here's the quick and easy way to do that. You're going to go to your client contacts. You're going to click on either everybody, select all of your records, or you're going to search for your tag or search and click on individual people, whatever you want to do. But the thing is you collect, you, you click on send email. And when you click here, you're going to click proceed. And then you're going to look at your email template. So we're going to look at the February, how to fall in love. Let's go back to that same, it's called fall in love, February, fall in love with carpet. So that's the one that you want to pick February fall in love with carpet and here you can put who you're going to send it to who you're going to send it from uh you can put the subject line i'd recommend that you if it's not too many send them all at once if not send them in a zip drip file or a drip mode that way it's only sending you can decide how many you're going to send at a time um, or you can also schedule it at a different time so here's the neat thing too you can schedule this for you know, the beginning of February, middle of February, you can schedule it for February 2024, right? So you, it doesn't have to be that month. You can schedule these for the future for whenever you want to schedule them to. For an action, it is going to get you to put in a, uh, a name of the file. So just call this February email, whatever you want to call it. So you can tag that later or not tag it, but be able to find it by what, you know, what the name of the email is called. Start on, you can start whatever date. Like I mentioned, you can start it next month. You can start it three months from now. You can start whenever you want to start it, but put that in there and then click send email. All of the emails will be sent out. It's that easy, guys. Just watch this video one more time if you need to go over it again, but it's super, super easy. We make it easy. Everything should be done. Just to reiterate as well, the custom values, again, we've got another whole video for that, but those are over here in settings and then custom values. You want to click on this to make sure this is where you want to put in your booking link page, your appointment booking page, your Facebook page, all of these should show up in all of the emails, your phone number, your YouTube video, your website, all of these should show up. The only one that's a little bit complicated is putting in your logo because you do have to have that stored on the internet somewhere. If you need help with that, let us know or let your web designer know um, or you could store it in a Google Cloud somewhere, but that's the only one that's complicated. Everything else is pretty cut and dry. So there you go, guys. Send out those emails. We make it super easy for you.